Welcome to the Rich Life Realization class of the creative genius within. And we will be exploring the topic of the creative genius. It is a powerful part of us that can help guide our lives, that can help guide our art. This class is really for anyone who, who wants to get through a creative block, who wants to be more creative, or even for those people who don't think that they have a creative bone in their body. You do, you have a creative genius, and we're going to tell you, even just kind of learning about it, you're going to find out that you have it and that is a part of you and that it is with you all of the time. And that's the first, the very first part we'll talk about. I like to think of it as kind of like a, a radio signal, one that's always broadcasting at all times. It's going through the sound waves and we're on our radio dial and every once in a while we pick it up and we say, wow, what was this? It, we have this inspiration and then we keep turning and we might lose it a little bit or maybe some static will get in the way and we keep turning, searching for just the right, oh, I have to get it just right. And this radio station, there's something special about it. Because not only is it always broadcasting, but when we aren't messing with the dial, it will automatically reset to that creative genius radio station. Like the greatest hits on creative genius radio, it automatically goes back to that. That's the idea that I'd like to plant is that we have this creative genius within us and that it is our natural state. And all we have to do is stop messing with the dial. <laughs> We're going to dive more into ways that we mess with the dial later in this course. And We'll talk a lot about creative genius as it is in our lives and how it shows up. And it showed up a lot in our childhoods where we would have just this creative genius all the time. We were tuned in. We had access to it. We had this imagination. We were storytellers, vivid storytellers. We were masterful finger painters. We were uh, beautiful singers. We were all of those things because we were not inhibited. We were in tune. We weren't messing with the dial just yet. And it was an incredible, creative place that we got to come from. It was almost as though that, that creative world, the world of possibility, the world of imagine, imagination, of dragons, all of that world had more of a reality to it. We believed in it. It was, it was more real to us. And this world was real too, but we had this, this fantastic place. 
and it, it's a place of, of imagination, expansiveness, of possibility, of beauty. And over time, we start to started to, to focus more on the reality over here, on, on friends and, and being our social selves. And we learned that Santa wasn't real. I, I hope this isn't a shocker for some of you. <laughs> we learned that the dragons only existed over here. And it, it wasn't as fun or as cool to play over here anymore. And so in a lot of ways, we lost, we lost that. It never left us though. And that's the seed that's, that I'd like to grow into an understanding is that, that it's always been there. That it's always been broadcasting that you have it. And that it's not only in these incredible creative places or people that only they have it, that only they have the creative genius. Like J.R.R. Tolkien. Or if we think of if we think of Harry Potter. And J.K. Rowling, she, she brought Harry Potter from this creative place into the place of reality. We almost have to, to translate it. <laughs> And this, this creative place, it can be more real to us. It can be given life and solidity. And like JK Rowling, we can take those thoughts and those possibilities and we can bring them into our world. And we did it as kids. We would draw the dragon. We would put on a play about castles and princesses. The invitation is to reconnect with that and also to tune into that. Thank you.